I have just finished installing the wiring harness kit for the hardtop for a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited that did not originally come with the hardtop. It's a really complicated procedure. If I had known it was this complicated, I would have probably just taken it to the shop. But once you're into it, you kind of want to finish it. And there were already some good videos online. Um, the one thing I didn't find online was how to route the washer fluid, rear fluid uh, delivery hose, which is this one here. Uh, it comes out of the wiring harness. It's, it's together with the wiring harness as it comes uh, through the firewall and into the engine compartment. Um, it ended up being really hard to route, um, to do it at least the way the factory, I think, does it. And that's because it has to come here and uh, disappears behind this part here, or whatever that is. And uh, the only way, notice by the way, it's, it's running parallel to the front washer hose that goes to the hood, which is now upside down on uh, my windshield. Um, and that's what you want. Uh, it turns out there's, there's actually routing slots for it, um, you'll find, that are, um, are ready for a rear washer cable when it, when it comes in. But here it goes. And um, to access the, the, the space where you have to run it, I had to remove this front fender, as you can see here, um, which isn't really hard to do. Uh, there's lots of videos online for how to do that. In fact, there's lots of people who want to replace their stock fenders with um, other aftermarket fenders and whatnot. One day, maybe I'll, I'll do that. But um, here I removed it because underneath the wheel well, um, only accessible once the fender is removed, you can see the continuation of these two uh, washer fluid hoses. Again, one of them is for the front and one of them is for the rear. One of them was uh, already there. The rear had to be installed by me. The rear should be run right there through that slot, but it wasn't quite long enough. But it's, it's not bad. It's really out of the way here and uh, running uh, almost parallel to the front one. Um, it's too dark under here. Let's see if you can bring some light in on this situation. See what's going on. Not, not really. Um, but the, the washer pump is just behind what you're looking at there. Uh, I'll go in front of the engine compartment. So here we are at the front of the engine compartment. And um, what you can see here is there is the rear washer cable. And there is the front um, washer cable. Uh, back where it should have been and this thing this thing here is the washer pump that is, there is the washer fluid reservoir so anyway that's how I did it uh, that was the one piece that did not uh, come easily to me from watching the videos and following the instructions um, in what was an overall a day-long procedure for me it really was not a couple of hours that I thought it would be so good luck 